we call this recipe pickled balls. That's disgusting. <laughs> um, but frankly, that is what it is. This is a recipe for oven roasted herby meatballs, a pile of rice that's been seasoned with pickles and pickle brine, yum, and then seasoned salty yogurt to finish. And the reason that I love this dish so much is it has three of my favorite things in it. One, meatballs, love. Two, herbs, use them all the time. Three, dill pickles. Everything's better with pickle. So this is gonna happen in three parts. First, we're gonna start by making a dill, pickle, and cucumber salsa. Then we're gonna make our herby meatballs. And then we're gonna make our salty yogurt and assemble. Ingredients you will need for this recipe. There are quite a few, I'm not gonna lie, but a lot of them are interchangeable. So you'll need three bunches of herbs. You can use any fresh tender herbs. I'm using today dill, parsley, and cilantro. You could also use basil, mint, chives, but three large bunches four scallions, either one large English cucumber or three Persian cucumbers, one garlic clove, eight baby dill pickles or three or four pickle spears, two eggs, panko, whole milk yogurt, one and a half pounds of ground meat. You can do a mix of pork and beef and lamb and chicken and turkey or just one or anything you want. Coriander seed, fennel seed, red pepper flakes and ground cinnamon and olive oil. There's a lot of olive oil in this recipe. Oh, and cooked white rice. Okay, so part one, make the pickle salsa. So this salsa starts with a mix of fresh cucumbers and pickles. So we're gonna dice a couple of Persian cucumbers. This is a good time to get a sharp knife and hone your knife skills, just like this one. We have our chopped cukes. We're gonna do the exact same cut on a couple of pickle spears. So I'm chopping two scallions. The other two scallions, because we're doing the chopping, are gonna go into the meatball. So I'm gonna chop them while I'm on the cutting board. Set these aside. We're gonna come back to these in a moment. When we call for large quantities of herbs, like I have done in this recipe, we're talking tender herbs, not woody, hearty herbs. And I'm gonna chop this pretty fine because I want them to kind of like permeate the meatballs and the pickle salsa. This is what a fine chop means. And you probably aren't chopping your herbs fine enough when it calls for a fine chop, because it does take a while and you kind of have to run your knife back and back and back. But for a salsa, it's important. For cilantro, I keep the stems on and just really, really thinly slice the stems because there's so much flavor in a cilantro stem that it's really a shame to throw it away. Dill stems can be a little bit woody. These ones look pretty woody to me. So I chopped off the woody ends. You could just do this in a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on me, because I'm the one over here suffering. We have lots of herbs. I'm mixing them all up in a pile, and I'm gonna put about a third of them into our pickle salsa. Okay, so into the pickle cucumber salsa, I am grating one large garlic clove. I'm gonna add a big splash of dill pickle brine and a lot of olive oil. This is a very olive oily, it's almost like a salsa verde, a pickled salsa verde. Okay, and then we're seasoning the salsa with salt and a little bit of red pepper flake for spice. This might be the most molly salsa ever right here. It's got dill, it's got pickles, it's got salt, it's got crunchy. Let's try it. Mm. So our salsa is done. We're gonna set it aside. On to the meatballs. I'm taking my rings off because we're about to get our hands dirty. The best way to make meatballs is with your hands, unfortunately. So to start the meatballs, we're cracking two eggs into a large bowl. I'm gonna add another splash of olive oil also. The eggs and the olive oil are gonna help to hydrate the panko, which I'm about to add in here, and moisten it enough that it turns into like a bready paste, almost like a panade, and that's gonna get mixed into the meatballs to keep them light and fluffy and not let them get dense and hard and overcooked. So beat these eggs, add one cup of panko, and I'm gonna whisk it together and you'll see it'll start to form this like eggy paste. And we're just gonna let that sit for a second to soften. So here is our softened panko egg paste. I'm gonna add chopped fennel seed, chopped coriander seed, and ground cinnamon to this and just kind of work it together so that the panade is all spiced and seasoned. So then I'm adding the reserved chopped herbs, some more chopped scallions, 
and about a third of the ground meat. So I'm doing a mix of ground chicken and pork. The reason that we add a little bit of it first is that it's easier to incorporate like this big massive bowl of panko and herbs and everything into a smaller amount of the meat without overworking it. Then you go and add the rest and it's just a lot less handling of the meat, which is what you want to avoid because overhandling can lead to tough balls. Nobody likes a tough ball. Or I don't know, maybe they do. Chat, <laughs> let me know your preferences. Okay, I'm seasoning this mixture with two and a quarter teaspoons of salt and then the rest of the ground meat is going in. And now we're just getting in there and working it all together until it feels homogenous and well distributed. I feel like I need to get up high, dominate these balls. Ugh. <laughs> it's getting weird. I mean, you can't make a meatball recipe without multiple references to balls, all sorts of balls. Do you know what I mean? We got pickled balls, we got firm balls, tough balls, bouncy balls. There should be a lot. It's literally all about the balls. We love balls. How many balls does this recipe make? How many should I make, <laughs> Becky? This recipe makes eight equal size balls. Oh yeah, these are big balls, because I like big balls. <laughs> I do like big balls. Every time I say that, I hear, I hear in my head, I like big balls and I cannot lie. But I really do, I don't like little balls. Okay, so while our hands are dirty, this is a great time to form your balls. So into the oven. Here's a fun thing that I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put these meatballs on the oven floor because that's the hottest part of your oven and so it's almost gonna act like a skillet and it's gonna sear these meatballs. And we'll turn them occasionally and they'll brown a lot more quickly that way so that they stay moist and tender on the inside but still get like really nice caramelization on the outside. While we're doing that, we're gonna move on to the final steps of the recipe. So I'm taking a little bit of whole milk yogurt here and I'm just seasoning it with salt. It's just a salty yogurt moment. It tastes really good. And then lastly, we're gonna make our pickle rice. So part four, pickle rice. I made some rice in my rice cooker. If you don't have a rice cooker, you can make it in a pot, but just six cups of steamed white rice. Woo! Okay, so normally you'd think we're just gonna stop here and I was just gonna put like a blob of rice in a bowl and then I was gonna throw some pickle salsa on top of the meatballs. No, we're gonna turn this plain ass rice into pickle rice, which is one of the greatest things ever to exist by taking two cups of our dill pickle cucumber salsa and some of the juices and stirring it into the rice. Okay, let's get in the oven because I smell things. Okay, so use your tongs to get in there and then take them out. And it might be easier to use like a spatula at this point to get under them and just turn them a bit so that the brown parts are now up and we can roast them on the other side. All right, back in. These are some sizzling ass balls. And now we just plate them up. A nice big pile of pickle rice, a couple big balls, more salsa, and a little bit of salty yolk. Okay, let's take a bite. I'm gonna eat my balls. Mmm! Those are steamy balls. You can see all the whole spices in there and all the herbs. Mmm! That tastes like me. It tastes like if you were to like ask artificial intelligence to make a dish that tastes like Molly, this would be the dish they make. Mm. A perfect ball. Could use some salt. 